for specific careers. One great thing I love about the electrical industry is that you can come in and earn as you learn. You are actually providing for your family and show that women can lead the way. Here at Campani Auto Group, we're proud to support the Driving Brighter Futures campaign. Meet Brandy. After her injuries, she needed the best partners she could get. Lawyers focused on what was best for her, not just on their firm's payday. That's what she found at Bradley Drenlin Janae, Northern Nevada's original personal injury law firm. We helped her get what she needed to move on and live her very best life. It's what we've done for thousands of clients since 1957, and it's what we'll do for you. Bradley, Drendel, Janae, and you. You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting A it- A pretzel bun on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new Pretzel Baconator. U.S. Auto Title and Payday Loan is lending big money. Right now, you can get a new title loan for as low as 9.9%. Come in today or apply online. Nevada Sportsnet is your home for all Wolfpack athletics.
Bless her heart. From Lawler Event Center, friends on the campus of the University of Nevada, you are tuned in to College Hoops on Nevada Sportsnet. Today, we are wrapping a bow on 2023 and kicking off Mountain West play as the Wolfpack women play host to the Lobos from New Mexico. Once again, hello, friends, wherever you may be watching. Mike Stephenson here, thrilled to be alongside Ashley Jones. Today's game brought to you by your Northern Nevada Toyota dealers. Visit one today, Toyota. Let's go places. Ashley, the first of 18 conference games. These ones just mean a little bit more. I mean, it is the best time of year, right? Conference plays here, preseason goes out the window, and now these are the games that really matter, and this is what's going to get you to March. By all indications, it should be a really strong year in the Mountain West Conference. Let's shine the renowned player spotlight on a pair of athletes in this game. First from the visiting Lobos and Paula Reyus. They're going to have to watch out for her if you're Nevada. Yeah, she's scored in double figures in eight games so far this season. She's their leading scorer, averaging 12 points and six rebounds per game. And she got a little bit of a European flair to her game. She's a player that can step out and shoot the three, but she also has a mid-range game and really just an all-around lethal offensive player and, and the go-to player for the Lobos. One of two players out of Spain for New Mexico. As for the home squad, as we get set to meet their starting lineup, we're going to spotlight Lexi Gibbons, who really does a bit of everything for Nevada. I like to call Lexi the silent assassin. She'll <laughs> quietly come in here and give you a 20 piece and you won't even know what, what hits you. She has the ability to step out and hit the three as well. Um, and she that's something that we don't see a lot of post players able to do, but what I think she's most effective is when she gets out and runs in transition and can score on the block in Nevada's early offense. In some regards, the pack goes as Lexi goes. Ready or not, friends, Mountain West play is here. We are getting set for the Battle of the Wolves. Coming up next on NSN, it's the Wolf Pack and the Lobos, your starting lineups and keys to the game coming up. For over 40 years, the team at Friedman and Troop have been proudly serving Northern Nevada, fighting for those in our community who have been wronged. If you've been injured in a car accident, don't let the insurance companies dictate your future. They have their interests in mind, not yours. Call us first and we will fight to get you the best possible outcome for your case. We are Nevada law. We are Nevada lawyers. Friedman and Troop Injury Lawyers. Call us for a free consultation. Hi, welcome to Toyotathon. Thanks. Now that the holidays are over, I'm getting a Camry. <laughs> and, we're and we're getting, getting a RAV4 hybrid. hybrid. And I'm getting a Tundra. <sighs> oh, and you're getting a belly rub. And I'm getting a truck. Right now, during Toyotathon, lease a new 2023 Toyota 4Runner for just $449 per month with Toyota Care, our no cost maintenance plan. Come in today, but you're already here. Toyota, let's go places. I'm Coach Chris Alt, and you're watching Nevada Sportsnet. Back here in Reno as we get set for Nevada and New Mexico. The start of Mountain West play is mere minutes away, friends. Once again, alongside Ashley Jones, Mike Stephenson, thrilled to be with you on this Saturday afternoon, the penultimate day of 2023. Let's meet your starting lineups, sponsored by Champion Chevrolet, the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada for 33 years. We'll start with the visiting Lobos, nine and four on the season under eighth year head coach, Mike Bradbury. Paula Reyes is the starting forward who we spotlighted in the open. Charlotte Cole is the big center in the middle. Then a trio of guards in Naya Wilson, Anaya Ogman, and Vianne Cumber, who is a local product out of Albuquerque. We just met Nevada's ladies here inside Lawler Event Center. Lexi Gibbons, the lone forward, and a quartet of guards. Audrey Roden, Claire Jacobs, Gabby Jufre, and back in the starting lineup tonight, Ashley is Victoria Davis. She is fully healed from her back injury, and that is a veteran presence the pack is thrilled to have. She's been through the Mountain West Conference before. She's been with Nevada now. This is her second season, and she knows what to expect. The Mountain West, every single night, you have to give it 
everything you got or you'll come in here and get beat. It doesn't matter who you're playing. And so to be able to have your point guard be a veteran point guard who knows what she's doing, she's been here before, she knows how to run this team, that's a huge piece for Nevada to have back. Tori Davis, the senior out of Chicago, was dealing with a back injury early this season, and we saw the really great freshman Dymo Maxi as Nevada's starting point guard for the bulk of this season. She will now be a spark plug off of the bench as we play Mountain West basketball. Opening possession for the Lobos. That was Ogman with the rock, gives it up to Wilson now. She'll get a screen up top from the big Cole, 6'5", she is. And here is Reus. Jacobs in the passing lane, swats it out of bounds. And with eight seconds on the shot clock, it'll be a sideline out of bounds for New Mexico. Right down low they go to Cole. Boy, big body. Credit Lexi Givens on the defense as Jufre ends up with the rebound. Two attempts, nothing doing for the Lobos. That's a great defensive start for Nevada to this game. Being able to guard New Mexico's driving kick offense that they run is going to be a really big key for them today. Now what does Nevada have on its first possession? Coach Amanda Levin's telling us before this one, the nine days off between games featured a lot of running for her gals as she tries to muster up some kind of consistency from her squad, something we've yet to see from Nevada right now, six and seven on the year. Well, and I think every athlete at some point in time has felt those post-Christmas break workouts. Yeah. Oh, that those are a nightmare. <laughs> Here's Rodin for three, no good. Audrey Rodin on the miss. Rebound tipped around, goes to the Lobos. And here comes Ogman giving it up to Cumber, who will fire freely. This one rolls out, though. And now here's Tori Davis. Now to Roden gets the screen from Gibbons. She'll stop and pop. Off glass, no good. Nearly got her own miss, but instead it goes to the Lobos. Tipped out of bounds by Roden. It'll stick with UNM. Here's Ogman out of San Jose, started her career at Houston. Looks to give it up for Cole. Nevada was uh, ready to have a fast break possession instead of foul is called. It'll go on Davis, her first, first foul of the game. Just about two minutes in, no score. First sub of the game as Jacobs will take a seat. In comes Kennedy Lee. Now Claire, who's sitting down, did not play in Nevada's last contest, which was over at the Missouri State Tournament against BYU. We saw Kennedy Lee start for her in that game as the foul is drawn. Bucket is good for Nia Wilson as Jufre was caught in a bad spot there. So again, Jacobs had a, a heel, a nagging heel injury that re-emerged in Nevada's loss to Western Kentucky, which opened up their play at the Lady Bear Classic. Next day, they took on BYU. Jacobs was not available for that game. Kennedy Lee gets her first career start, ends up scoring a season high 16 points. But something Coach Levins did say before the game, Ashley, is that they need to find an identity when Jacobs is not in there. Roden fires for another three. That one way off. Bounces right to Lee, though, who puts it back up, but fouled first. And so another possession to the Wolfpack. And to your point, I think the pieces are kind of coming together slowly but surely for Nevada. They're learning how to play off of each other and with each other, and I think that's going to come even more now that they have Tori Davis back on the court. She can kind of be the head of the snake and kind of get the offense and maybe a little bit more of a rhythm. Speaking of rhythm, Roden out of it there, travels with the ball. Three minutes, uh, I should say two minutes and 10 seconds into this one, Nevada still searching for its first points. It is a two nothing game. Let's quickly talk out some keys to the game brought to you by Bradley, Drendel, and Janae, BD and Jay Proud to support the Wolfpack. Uh, for New Mexico, nine and four on the season, Ashley. This is a program with 20 plus wins in each of the last two years. What do you see as a key for the visitors? 
I mean, we talked to Coach before the game, and, and he kind of told us a little bit. And as you can see, you got to come in here and be ready to play. His team has to come in here and, you know, p throw the first punch, not let Nevada kind of get off to a hot start. And then just playing hard, playing fast. Um, and being able to be efficient on offense, this is a team that we've been able to see, you know, put up a lot of threes, score a lot of points in a hurry. And it's, it's a little bit of a different team this year for New Mexico. So they're going to have to be offensively and run their sets, which is not something that we've seen from them in the past years. Nice job there from Gibbons on the defense as Reus's shot is no good. I think we've kind of alluded to some of the keys for the Wolfpack, Ashley, but it's really just finding its footing, finding some consistency, and really stringing together some strong offense. Yeah, absolutely. Getting into a flow on offense, being able to score as Kennedy puts one in right there. Um, but they can't go two and three minutes with scoring droughts. That's how they you, you dig yourself a hole that you can't necessarily get out of. So for them, being able to score and then transition defense and playing four full quarters, that's going to be the biggest thing is can they put together a full game here. First bucket comes about three minutes in, courtesy of Kennedy Lee, as Rodin will take a seat. And into the game is Kaylee Borden who has proven to be quite a spark off the bench for Nevada this season. Six fifty left here in the first. Dymo Maxi has now checked in. Backdoor pass goes to Cumber. Nice two gal game as Ogman finds Cumber for the layup. And New Mexico does a great job of getting into the paint, breaking down the defender and finding a way to score around the basket. Gibbons shot rolls off, rebound to Reus, and now the Lobos looking to run. Wilson puts it on the deck, reverse layup is good. You said it, Ashley, we talked to Coach Bradbury quickly before the game. He did admit this might not be as potent of a Lobos team as he's had the last couple of seasons. Obviously, a lot of basketball left to be played. Uh, but he said, you know, coming in, he said, I never look forward to coming to Nevada uh, because of what he knows will be on the other side. He's spent a lot of time coaching against Amanda Levins, and he did say, quote, you can't play soft in here or else you're going to get your head kicked in. <laughs> so we appreciated that uh, imagery from Coach Bradbury, who is someone you also played against, Ashley. Yeah, you love that from a coach, right? He's going to be straight <laughs> up with you and let, him let you know what it is. Like, you got to come here and play tough. And although Nevada has had a little bit of trouble scoring the ball, one thing that they will do and have been known to do and are one of the best teams in the conference is it's on the defensive end. They're going to get after it, get up in your grill, make you uncomfortable, and make it hard. And so you, you got to come in and be ready to play. Two missed free throws from Gibbons, but they get another look at it, and this time Maxi's lefty layup is no good. So a bit of a sluggish start for the Wolfpack. New Mexico trying to take advantage of 6-2. to two. Now Reus, the patience, the hook. Oh, goodness, and that's a, a post player that just took the ball coast to coast. Yes. A little, little in and out, has he spit? I mean, that's that's nasty. That's a nice work right there. That is someone who's played a lot of high-level basketball. 6-1 junior out of Palma de Mallorca, Spain. I think Coach Levins before the game said she's a post, but She's a Spanish post, <laughs> and I think that implied a lot, that she could do a lot, really. <laughs> yeah, she has a, a smoothness to her game. Like, it just comes natural, and it looks smooth when she has a ball in her hands. Now, that's inexcusable if you're Nevada. Wilson misses, gets her own rebound, but fortunately for the Wolfpack, her second attempt is no good, but it will stay with the visitors as Jacobs gets set to check back in for Gibbons. And Wilson is someone that Nevada's going to have to box out. She's a guard, but she's one of their best offensive rebounders, and she's so quick, so you have to know where she's at at all times. Reus off the front rim. Jacobs taps it to herself, and here comes Maxi looking ahead for Jufre. Stop and pop. Three no good. So Nevada's still looking for some rhythm here. One of eight in the early going is the Wolfpack. As Ogman sets up the offense, finds Wilson on the left wing. She'll just drive right by you. Lead for Rayu. Doing a bit of everything. And that play started with Wilson. She was able to beat her defender one on one, draw the help, and then drop it off to the post player. I mean, it's just basic basketball principles. Boy, speaking of the drop off, that was a pretty sweet pass from Maxi, but a little too much 
for Lee to get a good look off of it. Ball will stay with Nevada. As we hit our first time out of this one, just two points on the board for Nevada. We are past the halfway mark of this first quarter. The visitors from New Mexico leading 10 to two on Nevada Sportsnet. Meet Brandy. After her injuries, she needed the best partners she could get. Lawyers focused on what was best for her, not just on their firm's payday. That's what she found at Bradley Drenlin Janae, Northern Nevada's original personal injury law firm. We helped her get what she needed to move on and live her very best life. It's what we've done for thousands of clients since 1957, and it's what we'll do for you. Bradley, Drendel, Janae, and you. It's Champion's 35th Annual Holiday Festival Sales Event. Save thousands with Chevy rebates and incentives, plus no payments till next year on all new Chevy vehicles. Like a 2024 Chevy Trax 2 RS, 331 a month. A 2024 Chevy Equinox LS all-wheel drive, 442 a month. Or a 2023 Chevy Colorado Crew Cab LT 4x4, just 42888 Plus, pull an envelope from our $12,000 Christmas tree of cash. Don't miss the Holiday Festival Sales Event, only at Champion. Can't choose between watching your favorite Mountain West team on TV or going everywhere else you need to be? With the official Mountain West app, you don't have to. Watch hundreds of Mountain West games and championship events, live or archived, from wherever you are, all for free with the Mountain West app. Available on mobile and connected TV devices. Download the Mountain West app today. Back here inside Dollar Event Center, alongside Ashley Jones, I'm Mike Stephenson. Mountain West play is here for Nevada's ladies and a sluggish start for the Wolfpack. 10 to two in the early going advantage. The visiting Lobos from New Mexico. How are you seeing this for the first uh, five minutes plus, Ashley? Nevada's got to put the ball in the basket, right? Like, <laughs> Simple I, as that. I mean, that's what it comes down to at this point. They got to get some continuity in their offense. But when they're struggling in the half court sets, try to get a couple baskets in transition, an easy layup right there, Audrey Roden. But maybe get to the free throw line, get something in transition, kind of try to get your offense going that way, and then it'll get into a little bit more of a flow in the half court set. That is certainly how you want to come out of a timeout off of the baseline out of bounds. It's a layup for Roden, but then a missed defensive assignment there. Fortunate for the pack, Paris Lauro, the freshman out of Dallas, was off. All 10 of the Lobos points in the paint. Not even a three-point attempt yet for the visitors. Nevada, meanwhile, 0 for 4 from deep as Lee walks with it. And now a little ginger on the get back. As we'll see Lexi Gibbons check back in for Lee. Also into the game is Izzy Sullivan, the really talented freshman out of Sammamis, Washington. We actually have the last two Mountain West Conference Freshman of the Week on the floor as we speak. The reigning winner is Lauro, number 10 for New Mexico. And before that, it was Sullivan who garnered her first career honor from the conference. As Ogman just goes to work on Davis and floats it up and in. Off the dribble goes road and tries to sneak it up and in, but can't. Davis hits the floor. Here comes UNM the other way. Reus has Davis on her. Oh, and throws it back door to Lauro. Back out to Ogman. She'll put it on the deck to drive. No good, but the foul called on Roden. So Ogman will head to the line and try to make it a double-digit lead for the Lobos. And you see right there, again, two feet in the paint. It's just too easy. Nevada has to do a better job of keeping Mexico out of that key and make them run their offense around the three-point line because every time they, one of their guards gets into the key, they've been able to create, get a foul, get a little drop-off pass. Like you you got to cut that off and keep them out of the key. I think we've seen one Lobos jump shot so far in this contest, which says a lot. Oh. 
both of these coaches who we had a chance to visit with before the game equally impressed with the Mountain West Conference this season and feeling like every game will be a game with a few clear-cut contenders at the top, but no real bottom this year, it feels like. Sullivan for three. And that's a big shot for a Nevada team starting off slow in this one. Laura Langerman has also checked in. As this is Cumber with it, the little fade is good. Two-time Gatorade Player of the Year in New Mexico was Vianne Cumber. This is Borden with it. She'll stop and pop. Mid-range is no good. Gibbons got a paw on it, but it bounces to Ogman, and here come the Lobos. Boy, Ogman strong with that left hand, up and in, coast to coast for Anaya Ogman. That's just bully ball. She getting in there as a guard, taking the body and finishing with contact. Just celebrated her birthday yesterday, Ashley. Hey, happy First birthday. First game of a new year for her. Jacobs, that's a big shot. No good, though. Had the defender in her face, Cumber winds up with the rebound. And now here comes Reus, that Spanish post with the rock. And now Cumber will fire from deep. First three-point attempt of the game for New Mexico, leading 17 to seven. Down low they go to Gibbons. She'll work on Reus, the spin. And there was contact on the help as Lauro will pick up the foul and Gibbons will get to the line for two. It's a nice job there by Jacobs. You saw kind of motion Gibbons with her head and say, hey, post up, I'm gonna feed this down to you. Yeah, that high-low action is something that can work really well for Nevada and that's where Lexi can be most effective down there. She gets the ball and she knows how to work. She can feel the defender on her back, hit the spin move, knock down a free throw. This is a big contest for Nevada, coming off those two losses at Missouri State at the tournament. Losers of four, should say five of its last six is Nevada with a lone win December 16th, two Saturdays ago against Stanislaus State, which is a Division II program. And so Nevada searching for a spark and some consistency as Wilson goes all the way to the rim. And that is not a sign Amanda Levins wants to see, now trailing 19-9. And New Mexico is so good at breaking down the defenders. And when we talked to Coach Levins before the game, she said it's going to come down to basic defensive principles. Can you keep your player in front of you, right? Like jump to the ball when there's a pass. Can you do those little things? And so far, Nevada struggled a little bit keeping New Mexico out of the paint and keeping the ball in front. Five seconds to go. Gibbons will have a look at a corner three. No good. It rolls out. Rebound to Cumber. The clock will wind down. And we are through 10 minutes of this one, a first quarter dominated by the visitors as New Mexico shoots 50% and takes a 19 to nine lead into the second period. College Hoops on Nevada Sportsnet rolls on right after this. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Welcome to Toyota Thon. Hi, I want a new Toyota for a weekend getaway. You know, recharge from the holidays. Perfect. We've got new vehicles arriving daily. Excuse me. I have got a truckload of new Toyotas up front. A truckload of new Toyotas? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, man. I want one. I want one. Something I said? Yes. Right now, get 3.99% APR financing for up to 48 months on a new 2023 Toyota Tacoma. Or lease a new Toyota Tundra for just $4.49 per month. Toyota Thon ends January 2nd. Toyota, let's go places. For all these years, I've watched my dad fight for our clients to get some of the best settlements and verdicts in the state of Nevada. Finally, Dad gets a little respect. Go lightly in Vanna. 222-3333.
36,000 ATMs that won't charge you a fee with One Nevada. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. At The Joint Chiropractic, we believe that everyone should have access to high quality, affordable chiropractic care. You are never too young or too old to start taking care of your body. Walk-ins are welcome at any of our five Northern Nevada locations for just $29, seven days a week. Plus, as a monthly member, you can get treatment at any of our 900 nationwide locations. Stop living with pain. Try The Joint Chiropractic today and give your body the relief it needs. You're watching Nevada Sportsnet. Reno, second quarter underway. Nevada, New Mexico, first 10 minutes, owned by the visiting Lobos, who take a 19-9 lead into the second period. Lee thought she might have had a bucket and a foul. Instead, she walked with it. And that, if memory serves me correctly, Ashley, is a third traveling violation in this game already for Nevada. Again, and those are little mental mistakes that they can't have because right now there's still a lot of basketball to be played. It doesn't seem like anything, but those are the small things that will add up over the period of a game that can cost you, you know, a win or a loss. There's Wilson driving. A little contact from Maxi, who gets called for the foul. And again, the aggressiveness from New Mexico apparent right at the start of the second quarter. You can imagine in that quarter break, Coach Amanda Levins was harping on her team's energy, you would think, because it didn't seem to be anywhere near New Mexico's in that first quarter. And Nevada's been known to play good defense, but so far they've struggled here today. And 19 of New Mexico's 20 points have come in the paint. And those, or excuse me, those, okay, so three points now have not come in the, in the paint in from the so paint, far. Three yes. at the line, so everything in the paint essentially for UNM. Which has attempted just one three-point shot. This is a team that admittedly, per Coach Bradbury, doesn't shoot the three quite as well or as much as the last previous couple of teams under him as Davis banks it in. Get it however you can if you're Nevada. Back to a 10-point game. But this is still a UNM program that has back-to-back 20-win -back seasons, and for the last six years was first or second in scoring offense in the Mountain West. Bang, right on cue, the three is in for Laura, who hit three of them and in, Coach Bradbury, in the game last week. Pardon. And Coach Bradbury said, you know, they may not be as what they've been in previous years offensively, but if you can break down your defender and get to the basket, you can pretty much play with anybody. If you can break somebody down one-on-one -on -one and score, you can play with anybody. So that we're seeing that this is still very much a very good New Mexico team. That was a good look by Lee there, who just maybe rushed it a tad. Last year, New Mexico was 15th in the country as Wilson leaves it short. 15th in the country and made threes per game. Big shot here for Sullivan. Again, transition bucket right there. That'll get the fans going a little bit here on this Saturday in Reno as Sullivan, two for two. I believe she's had zero dribbles in this game as well. So that's a defensive letdown as Langerman scores easily with the left, the freshman out of Breckerfeld, Germany. Definitely a, a European flavor on this New Mexico team. You also see in the game, Nawa Diara Berte. She is out of Spain right there guarding Borden. As they kick it out to Gibbons. Had a good look for three, but she hesitated. She'll put it on the floor. Laro guarding her, and it's blocked by Cole. Nevada's got to shoot it now. One second on the shot clock. Lee didn't know it. And it's a turnover. So the length of the Lobos apparent on that possession as you saw Charlotte Cole 6-5, also out of Germany by way of Mississippi State. She was wreaking havoc there in the post. Come 
Amber now over to Cole. She has it at the elbow. Back door for Lauro. Feels like just how the Lobos drew that one up, Ashley. Way too easy if you're Nevada. And that's why you have to jump to the ball. As soon as your man passes that ball off, you have to jump into the lane so you don't get beat on that back door cut and have your head on a swivel. Jacobs puts her head down and just finds a way to score with the left. A little bit of a hitch in her giddy up, though, on the return to defense as she, again, is still dealing with a lingering heel injury. Can Nevada string together some stops? Reus gives up the dribble as Givens on her. Now here's Cumber with Jufre. She'll fade for three and hit nothing but quite literally the bottom of the net. And so Nevada, back-to-back -back strong possessions, a bucket and then a turnover on defense. And that's what every single defensive possession should look like. They were able to keep New Mexico out, the, out of the paint that entire possession, and they were running their offense along the three-point line. Good things happen when you keep them out of the paint. Here comes Davis now. She'll get a screen from Sullivan, but Wilson gets around it. Borden trying to look down for Givens. Now Davis will put it on the deck. Borden's three. Front rim. Rebound to Ogman, and here come the Lobos pushing it. Ogman, the cousin of longtime NBA player Stacy Ogman, 15 years in the league. That one will be tipped away by Gibbons, but a foul, a little too much contact on Wilson there, and the foul will go on Lexi. I don't know right there. They set that high screen and roll. And if you're if you're Izzy Sully, you gotta get over that screen, right? You don't want your post player guarding one of their best and quickest guards. You gotta get over and show and chase on that screen action. Nice recovery there by Gibbons to force the miss. Borden gets to the rim but can't score, and Cumber has the rebound. Credit Cole on the defense there as they look ahead to Wilson. Her shot's no good. It'll bounce out of bounds and go to the Wolfpack. So the Lobos, at least momentarily, a little bit out of sorts. Credit Nevada for some of its intensity on defense, but this feels like a moment where Nevada, with five minutes left in this half, needs to strike. As Maxi is back in, playing together now with Davis, who will be off ball. Gibbons drives on Cole. Cole blocked it, didn't like the call. Coach Bradbury telling her, just go straight up and down. You're 6'5". She gets called with the foul as Gibbons will head to the line. And we'll get a media timeout. 4.46 left in the second quarter. Nevada trying to rally and get this thing back into single digits. Two free throws for the pack coming up right after this. It's Champion's 35th Annual Holiday Festival Sales Event. Save thousands with Chevy rebates and incentives, plus no payments till next year on all new Chevy vehicles. Like a 2024 Chevy Trax 2RS, 331 a month. A 2024 Chevy Silverado Custom Crew Cab 4x4, just 48888 Or a 2023 Chevy Tahoe LS 4x4 in stock and on sale now. Plus, pull an envelope from our $12,000 Christmas Tree of Cash to reveal a cash prize from $50 to $1,000. Don't miss the Holiday Festival Sales Event only at Champion. Rated the best hearing aids of 2023 by Forbes, the Audion Atom 2 Series offers superior sound quality and functionality for a fraction of the price. For just $189 a pair, the Atom 2 features four different hearing modes for all types of hearing loss. It packs crystal clear sound, a nearly invisible design, and is even rechargeable. I actually like them better than my old $5,000 hearing aids. They're so comfortable, I forget I'm wearing them. And the sound is amazing. The Atom Pro 2 is our smallest hearing aid yet, featuring advanced background noise cancellation and is the world's first hearing aid with built-in UV cleaning that kills 99% of bacteria. I could not believe how my hearing and life changed without seeing a doctor or having a hearing test. Join over 500,000 happy customers today and get the hearing you deserve. 
Call 1-800-434-0037 or go to audienhearing.com to get your pair of Audion hearing aids starting at just $189. Back here on Nevada Sportsnet from the biggest little city, Mountain West Hoops, has arrived as Nevada and New Mexico throw down on this Saturday inside Lawler Event Center. 28-16, Lobos leading the Wolfpack alongside Ashley Jones. Mike Stephenson, thrilled to have you with us on this penultimate day of 2023. Looking over some stats, Ashley, 22 to six. Lobos outscoring the pack in the paint. Also six nothing off of turnovers. That really tells the story of this one. And that's the game kind of right there so far, as we can see. Uh, A little bit better effort here defensively from Nevada. And I like this lineup right now that Nevada has on the court. You got your two quick guards. um, And then you have your two shooters. And then, you know, Lexi in, your, in the post. And so I like this line. I think this could be good for, for Nevada defensively. Two free throws there from Gibbons makes it a 10-point game. Nevada has turned up its intensity on defense just a bit. As we saw the Lobos getting virtually everything they wanted, especially in the paint. Reus has it now, gives it up to Wilson. She'll hit a back-cutting Ogman who charges into Davis. Tori Davis with a big time defensive play, getting the ball back to the silver and blue. That's a great job right there, communication, guard to guard switch. Tori's already on the baseline, has her foot there as an extra defender, takes the charge, another good defensive possession for Nevada. Nice to see Tori Davis make an impact play. He's dealing with a nagging back injury for the first chunk of this season, first start of the year today. Maxi has it now, the freshman out of Hayward with the left, not gonna roll in. And Cumber comes down with it. Now Gibbons will force a jump ball though. Possession to the Lobos. But credit Lexi for not giving up on that play. Nevada just six of 23 to start this game. 26% is Hogman. Gets right to the rim. Three for three on the game is Anaya Ogman now. Give her seven points. Gibbons, that's a big three. Got it. Back to a nine point game. Nevada with three three pointers in this contest. Out of bounds, right in front of the pack bench. It'll go back to Nevada. So a big three and a big stop on defense. In comes Borden for Maxi. So now it's Davis, Borden, Sullivan, Jufre, and Gibbons for the Wolfpack. Wilson, Ogman, Lauro, Reus. And how about the cut, Sullivan? Three for three on the game is the freshman, Izzy Sullivan. As Cumber also in for the, uh, I should say the Lobos now. Reus drives on Gibbons. That'll be a block. Borden trying to draw another charge for the Wolfpack. Got there just a little late, maybe in the restricted area as well. And so it'll be a shooting foul. Right idea, just a little bit late. And that's why you, as a defender, want to keep your player out of the middle of the court because then it confuses your help side. Is it coming from the left? Is it coming from the right? If you can keep them on one side of the floor, the defender will know, okay, i got to come from this side for help or the other side, right? There's been a lot of cutting to the lane for the Lobos early on in this one. Now up 31-23. Reus has one more at the line. She goes one for two. Borden. Handles the rebound. Jufre has it, now over to Sullivan. She'll dribble once and fire. Halfway down and out. Very clear though, Sullivan can score in bunches for the pack. Here's Reus with a head of steam. She's just gonna try to drive. Fires it up for Cole. You put it anywhere near her 6'5 frame and she can go get it. Ogman now with Borden chasing her. 
Over to Reus. Jafre hounding her. Reus steps through, puts it up and in. That's one of those good defense, better offense possessions. Yeah, I've been mean, falling away to the left side of the basket and has the touch to be able to just put it, put it right in. Yeah, that's nice. But certainly one of the more difficult buckets New Mexico's had in this one. As Jufre pops from mid-range, it's no good. Saw a fired up Coach Bradbury on the sideline on that possession. Under two minutes left in this first half. One really dominated by New Mexico, but Nevada's energy has picked up. And the jump ball will go to the Wolf Pack. So a buck 43 left in this first half. Nevada looking for a little more momentum. Jacobs will check back in. It'll be Sullivan taking a seat. So Nevada trailed by 10 after the first, still trails by 10. Late arriving to this one, it feels like, uh, was the Wolfpack, Ashley, but that energy really has been turned up in the last few minutes. Yeah, and that's something we've seen so far, four full quarters. And so kind of dug themselves a little bit of hole, a little into a little bit of a hole in that first quarter, but definitely picked it up defensively. Oh, the foul will go the other way as Gibbons is called for the moving screen, or was it on Jeffrey? That was on Lexi. That is three fouls on Lexi Gibbons, so it's safe to say her half is done, and she'll have to be careful when the third quarter arrives. And now with 90 seconds to go, the Lobos have it back. Reus gets it at the free throw line and just drives on Jacobs, plus a foul. Make it nine points for Paula Reus out of Spain, who appears to know very well what she is capable of on the basketball court, Ashley. Yeah, I mean, she, when she gets that ball in that high post area, it, it, she kind of just knows. She's letting the defenders cut by, kind of looking to see what she has, and then realizes, you know, she can take the defender and get to the basket. So being able to have a player that can function in there and execute is, is really dangerous. Jafre puts it on the deck, but Cumber stays right in front of her. She'll try to step through. That is a tough shot. No good as we are at 50 seconds left in this first half. New Mexico up 13. And drawing a foul is Davis, a little too aggressive there. She'll get called for the block. It'll send the Lobos to the line. Nia Wilson played 40 games in two seasons for the Orange of Syracuse University but averaged actually more playing time her freshman year than she did her second season. So she bolts and joins the Lobos, where she has certainly fit in well, 11.8 points per game. And just under 77% from the free throw line as she knocks down both of those. It is a 15-point game, biggest lead of this game for the Lobos. Team that has appeared ready to go from the opening tip. Jacobs fakes, tries to get by Reus. What a move for Claire Jacobs. Everything but the finish, though. And now, with just under two seconds, the difference between the game clock and the shot clock, UNM can stay patient if it wants. Coach Bradbury stomping his feet, trying to align his team, as Reus will have Borden on her. Now Ogman will come back and look for it and not get it, though. Backdoor pass is so risky, and that about sums up the half for New Mexico. Look what I found for Ogman, who lays it in. Shot not going to get off in time for Nevada, and a sour note to end the first half. If you are Amanda Levin's team, all New Mexico through the first 20 of this one, it's halftime with the Lobos leading the Wolfpack. 40 to 23. Stay tuned, halftime is next on NSN. 
Locally owned and operated for over 20 years, we do everything plumbing. And as the premier vendor for Renai, Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air is your expert in tankless water heating technology with endless hot water on demand. Call Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air to upgrade your system today. Tis the holiday season and it's time to find your dream ride. The elf said go to Wild West Chevrolet, of course, where all the deals are inside. With no hidden fees and big bucks to be saved, at Wild West Chevrolet, you'll be so amazed. Our selection is enormous, so finding your perfect car is a breeze. New or used, we've got it all, from cars, trucks to SUVs. So if you're dreaming of a new ride while you slumber, I'll ask you this. Wild West Chevrolet, what's your number? I've seen it a thousand times. Insurance companies do everything they can to deny a claim. It's frustrating. That's why I made it easy. Text me anytime and get an answer. I'm local and have years of experience getting people like you fast and easy resolutions. Locally owned and operated for over 20 years, we do everything plumbing. And as the premier vendor for Renai, Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air is your expert in tankless water heating technology with endless hot water on demand. Call Michael's Plumbing, Heating, and Air to upgrade your system today. Are you ready to upgrade your home? Look no further than Envision Glass, your full-service glass experts. Our team of expert professionals offer a wide range of solutions, from residential repairs to full installations to fit your budget with free in-home estimates. With Envision Glass, you can expect on-time arrivals, the highest quality materials, and exceptional workmanship. And installations are backed by our five-year warranty. Trust the full-service glass experts. Choose Envision Glass for all your glass repair and upgrade needs. Visit EnvisionGlass.com. The always compelling baby races taking place here at halftime <laughs> on a beautiful Saturday in the biggest little city, although things not so beautiful for the home team Wolfpack through 20 minutes. It's New Mexico leading 40 to 23. Alongside Ashley Jones, I'm Mike Stephenson. We can transition and do play-by-play -play for the baby races if we'd like. It's always fascinating to see what kind of little toys or uh, <laughs> motivation the parents come up with to try to win this race. That is absolutely the cutest thing I've <laughs> ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh. Okay, back to basketball. Well, this Sorry. one here looks like she barely, this one especially, barely started crawling, so hard to ask for a, a oh victory. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. But it makes for some great <laughs> images nonetheless. Uh, again, not so great images that a coach Amanda Levins is talking over with her team in the halftime break. Just felt like New Mexico was ready to go from the opening tip. Nevada, not so much. Yeah, I mean, again, they've struggled offensively the, the entire season, um, and, and they know that. They know they have to be better. Coach talked about them having, you know, some really tough practices, kind of letting them know, hey, we have to have a sense of urgency. We have to be able to score the basketball, and they haven't done that very well today, only shooting 27% from the field in that first half, and that's not going to win you any Mountain West Conference game. Like, these teams are too good. And New Mexico's doing what they do best, right? They're just playing how they always play. They're going to break you down, get to the basket, score, and finish around the rim. And so I think every everybody kind of knew what the game plan was. It was just who was going to be able to execute their scouting report uh, the most efficiently. And it's been clear that that has been the visitors doing that. Nevada coming into this game leading all Mountain West teams in steals per game. Right now the pack through one half with just a single steal just four New Mexico turnovers, and yes, the most glaring stat, points in the paint, 30 of them for the visitors out of their 40 points. Just eight points in the paint for Nevada. Work to be done, as you said, eight for 29 is Nevada. Also 29 shots up for the Lobos, but they've hit twice as many, 16 for 29, 55% are the Lobos. You add it up, and it is a big deficit. For the home team, it is 40 to 23. Halftime is rolling on here on Nevada Sports Next. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let me help. Let me help. You've got this. You've got this. Hi. 
Hi, welcome to Toyotathon. Thanks. Now that the holidays are over, I'm getting a Camry. <laughs> And we're, and we're getting, getting a RAV4 hybrid. hybrid. And I'm getting a Tundra. <sighs> oh, and you're getting a belly rub. And I'm getting a truck. Right now, during Toyotathon, lease a new 2023 Toyota 4Runner for just $449 per month with Toyota Care, our no cost maintenance plan. Come in today, but you're already here. Toyota, let's go places. At Bradley Drenel and Janae, our Northern Nevada roots run deep. In 1957, my father, William Bradley, and his partner, John Drendel, started Reno's first personal injury law firm. Their cases made national headlines. They earned awards and honors while gaining the trust of our community and raising their families here in the place they love. Our new generation of lawyers is continuing that legacy. And today, our Reno roots are as deep as ever. Bradley, Drendel, Janae, and you. We've been in the biggest little city since its very beginning. We brought clean water to our city's first buildings and homes, but that wasn't easy to do. As our city has grown, we've grown with it. Since 1893, we've been trusted to do the right things the right way. Whether it's delivering innovative ideas for the buildings, shaping our future, or making sure your leaky faucet leaks no more. That's the savage way. And it has been for over 130 years. Nevada Sportsnet is your home for all Wolfpack athletics. We're back inside Lawler Event Center. Nevada trails New Mexico 40 to 23. Really sluggish first quarter for the Wolfpack, trailing 19 to nine. Did pick up that energy in the second half a little bit, Ashley, but still leaves a lot to be uh, desired if you're a Wolfpack fan because New Mexico's really gotten everything it wanted. Yeah, if Nevada can just put the ball in the basket and get into their sets and score a little bit better, they have a really good chance to get back into this game. They've been able to kind of weather the storm defensively, but they have to score the basketball. And we've seen spurts of it here. You, know, you get a couple three-pointers. Um, you know, you get to the free throw line. They've gotten good shots within their offense, but they have to do that consistently. They can't just be every, you know, three possessions yeah. down, they get a good shot. It's got to be every single time. Nevada led by Izzy Sullivan, the freshman off the bench, with eight points on three of four shooting. But collectively, Nevada just eight of 29, three of 10 from downtown. By the way, we should let you know, halftime is brought to you by Renown Health, proud to be affiliated with the University of Nevada School of Medicine, also helping educate the future doctors of the Silver State. Halftime continues as we've got the crowd doing the Macarena. We're getting ready to play some more ball, though, in mere moments as halftime continues on NSN. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. To win multiple NASCAR championships, you gotta have the best support, including my arch support specialist at the Good Feet Store. Are those arch supports still working for you, Joey? Yeah, they're working great. How's that back and knee pain doing? It's all gone. And my balance is better. Nice. And really nice. Oh, well, this bad boy has over 700 horsepower from, from a fuel-injected fuel 350 pushrod V8. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever changed tires? See how we can help you too with a free fitting. At the Good Feet Store. After a tragic car accident or life-changing injury, you need the best partner you can get. A lawyer that puts the focus on you. One focused on your future, not their fame. Who puts you in the spotlight, not themselves. One who helps you toward a better life after a tragedy, not just a better payday for their firm. It's what we've done for thousands of clients since 1957, and it's what we'll do for you. Bradley, Drendel, Janae, and you. Tis the holiday season, and it's time to find your dream ride. The Elf said go to Wild West Chevrolet, of course, where all the deals are inside. With no hidden fees and big bucks to be saved, at Wild West Chevrolet, you'll be so amazed. Our selection is enormous, so finding your perfect car is a breeze. New or used, we've got it all, from cars, trucks, to SUVs. So if you're dreaming of a new ride while you slumber, I'll ask you this. Wild West Chevrolet, what's your number? 
Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Back here inside Lawler Event Center, Nevada and New Mexico. First of 18 Mountain West Conference games of what should be a heck of a race for a Mountain West championship. Of course, UNLV comes in as the defending champions of the conference, picked to do it once again this year, garnering 24 first place votes. Two and three in the preseason poll, Colorado State, Wyoming, picked to finish sixth were the Lobos and just a couple spots down, Nevada, picked to finish eighth. Hard to put too much stock into preseason polls, but this is a New Mexico team at least right now looking like it could be a contender. Any given team on any given night in this conference could be a contender. It just depends on who comes to play, and that's the, the great thing about the Mountain West is that every night you got to come in and give it everything you got or you'll get beat. And so I think that's the fun thing, and that's what we have to look forward to, uh, you know, this, this coming conference season. It's going to be a fun one. So both of these teams entered this matchup, coming off nice long breaks. Last game for New Mexico was at Gonzaga, which is a top 20 team in the country. The Lobos playing tough, but losing 67-56. That was eight days ago. Nevada's last game, nine days ago, as part of the Lady Bear Classic at Missouri State, where the pack took two losses in two days. First on the 20th, 66-60, a loss to Western Kentucky. Then the next day, losing big to BYU. 72-59, a reminder, Claire Jacobs did not play in that contest. So they had nine days between games, and we had alluded to it early on, Ashley. Coach Levin's telling us there's a lot of running that took place, <laughs> a lot of intense even two-a-day practices, which you don't hear about a lot uh, nowadays. And she even told us, I'm not sure our players were expecting that level of intensity during the break, but it was something she felt like the team needed because ultimately, and she said it flat out, we need to know who we can count on. And right now, we don't quite know who is going to give us what we need day in and day out. And that's why we're still, uh, Nevada's still searching for that 40-minute game that you hear coaches talk about. Oh, I will say this. As a former player, I do not miss those after Christmas <laughs> practices because those were brutal. But sometimes you need that kick in the butt as a player to kind of, you know, get your get yourself in gear and be like, okay, hey, like this, we can't play around no more conferences here. Um, the Mountain West is one of the best conferences in the country, I think, and so they got to get it together. They know it. The coaching staff knows it, and, and Coach Levis told us, hey, if, if no player is going to hold us accountable, the coaching staff is going to do it. Yep. We're going to do it until one of you guys decide to do it, and that's what you do. You challenge your team to be better, and they take that, and they, they kind of go with it. And she said, you know, they it was tough and it was hard. They probably weren't expecting it, but they took it, and they rolled with it, and she's trying to build confidence in her team. Like, they, they have shown spurts of a good offensive basketball team, but it just hasn't been consistent yet. She straight up said, did Amanda Levitz, we needed to go back to the basics. And she's trying to get her gals excited for game day and not just having to endure practices, but actually endure those and then look forward to getting an opportunity to compete. And so we'll see what this second half has in store because I got to say the first 20 minutes, it just felt like the energy and the enthusiasm really wasn't there for Nevada. And you don't want to let your offense dictate your defense, but in, in this instance, I think if Nevada can string together a couple of plays where they get um, a good offensive flow and can knock down some baskets, I think that'll just completely shift the tide. Because sometimes, I mean, every coach is going to say it, don't let your offense dictate your defense. But sometimes when you see that ball go in the net, especially the shooter, I know for me, if I, like, all I needed was to hit one three and it was a wrap, <laughs> right? So if you see that ball go in the net, it kind of gives you a different a different type of confidence to, to run with and play with. And so I think if the Vatican come out and get some easy baskets here, maybe in transition or get to the free throw line, that could give them the little spark they need. And maybe get this crowd, which is a pretty solid crowd for December 30th, going a little bit. That kind of leads us right into our adjustment of the game, brought to you by Northwest Reno Chiropractic. With doctors dedicated to using the latest tools and treatments, their practice focuses on acute short-term care for neck pain, back pain, and headaches as they try to get you in and out of their office as quickly as possible, helping local athletes since 1995, what would be your 
big adjustment for the home team, Ashley. I'm going to give two quick adjustments. First of all, they got to put the ball in the basket. They're shooting 27% from the field. That's simple as that. But defensively, New Mexico is a team that is averaging 37% from the field, and right now they're shooting 55% from the field. And 33 or excuse me, 30 of those points have come in the paint. Nevada's got to do a better job defensively of keeping New Mexico out of the paint and making it difficult for them offensively. I guess on the other side, if you're the Lobos, you got to feel pretty good about where you're at right now. Yeah, I mean, continue to do what's work, work for them. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Continue to drive the ball to the basket and run their offense how they have been. They've been aggressive and been able to score around the basket, so keep doing that for them. They haven't had any issues yet so far. Continue to, to play how they've played in that first half. Aggressive offense there, but also strong defense from the pack as it's swatted out of bounds. And now Cumber has a lane. She'll drive and also have it deflected. How about the rebound ripped out of the hands of Cole by Audrey Roden? And here comes the Wolf back the other way. Jacob stops, pops, rolls in. So a big 30 seconds to start this third for the Wolf Pack. And that's how you get back in the game. Score, stop, score. See if Audrey Roden can go in and get going in this second half is the shot for Cumber. Nothing but nylon as she splashes the three. Roden just one of five in five minutes played in that first half. Gibbons will try to answer from deep. Can't do it. Roden helps fight for the rebound, which I believe did. Yes, it went off of Ogman out of bounds. It'll stay with Nevada. But yes, Audrey Roden as Nevada's leading scorer will need to get herself going in this second half. Yeah, if she can get going, that would be a huge boost for this Nevada team. Haven't, didn't see much of her in the first half. Hopefully she can get something going here. Davis puts her head down, gives it up. Jacobs wing three. It was on line, just a little short. And now here comes Wilson the other way. She'll back it out. Now Cumber trying to drive on Gibbons, dribble it off her own leg. Jacobs winds up with it, and then Cumber commits the foul. So a big defensive play there by the pack, which gets the ball back now down 18. Largest deficit of this game for Nevada. Here's Roden with it. She'll stop. Turn around and get the roll. So like you said, Ashley, you want to see one go through. A big shot there for Audrey Roden. Especially for a player like her who can score in bunches. Just seeing the ball go through has to feel good. Um, and and that, that could get her into a good rhythm here in this third quarter. 13.2 points a game to lead Nevada. Wilson puts her head down. Jacobs made it a tough shot. It's no good, out of bounds, sticks with UNM, but with just six seconds on the shot clock. Ogman will inbound it from under the Lobo zone basket. Reyes will get it on the short corner, cut, splashes it. No hesitation from Paolo Reyes. 12.2 points a game to lead the Lobos. She's already up to a dozen in this one. So now the lead back to 18. Nevada just watching as Gibbons drives on Cole. That's a difficult shot. Tough position for Lexi there as it goes out of bounds off of Jacobs. Very quiet inside Lawler Event Center now as Nevada looks for some kind of momentum and some kind of spark. Meanwhile, the Lobos on the road content to just keep running their offense and staying patient. Here's Reus. Crossover in front of Gibbons. Ah, oh, but Lexi recovers for the block. Reus thought she had a step on her, and here comes Jufre the other way. Davis, ooh, dumps it down. As into the game now is Natalie Lathrop. She is fouled from behind. 
First appearance in this game for the 6'3 sophomore. Sullivan is now checked in. Izzy Sullivan had a strong first half for Nevada with eight points off the bench. Got to get it in now. She does to Givens. Davis stops and pops. Not going to go. Reus on the box out, ends up with the rebound. Her fifth. Augment out to Reus, who has Davis on her. Now Cumber gives Augment a screen, and Augment, that is a tough angle, scores with the right. Anaya Augment out of San Jose by way of the University of Houston. Nearly had a steal there. Instead, Roden will pop from the free throw line. So two makes in a row for Audrey Roden. But Nevada's got to do it on this end. As Roden right on cue gets her paw on it. The steal. Davis the other way. And another easy two for Nevada. Point game, almost to the midway point of this third quarter is Wilson, Naya, right to the rim. The junior out of Dallas. Second leading scorer, pardon me, third, 11.8 a game. She has passed that average now with 12 in this one. Roden loses it, gives it up, Sullivan, quick shot, good. And Sullivan is into the double digits with 10. And that's what it's going to take, stringing back-to-back -back plays together consistently. There's Cumber from the elbow. Stop, pop, no good. Sullivan on the rebound and looking way ahead for Roden. She'll pop just inside the three-point line. It's good. And so Audrey Roden has found her groove here in this third quarter. Nevada collectively cutting into the lead, now a 14-point game. Nevada needs a whole lot more if it wants to get back into this one, though. Wilson will see Sullivan in front of her. Turns and shoots, and that's a tough look for Nia Sullivan, but that's a tough look. As Sullivan, pardon me, turns it over, and Wilson ends up with the easy bucket as she threw it right to Reus. And that's one of those momentum-shifting kind of plays that really could have went well for Nevada and did not. And that's the thing is, those type of when you don't dig yourself into a hole, those type of plays don't kill you. But when you've already kind of dug a hole for yourself, those ones take you out every single time. Gibbons gives it up. Lathrop, one dribble, up and in. What a pass by Lexi Gibbons, my goodness. I mean, your post player is out here dropping dimes on the court like that. <laughs> That's nice. He said in the open she can do a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. And I know early in the season, Coach Levins was like, we even want more from Lexi because we know she has that. You said it. She's kind of the silent assassin on the team. Yeah, and I, I'd like to see her get a little a little rowdy with, yes. with her play. You know, like we, we love that, you know, she can go in and, and get after it. Um, but I'd like to see a little more, like, you know, a little more oomph out of her. Yes. Kind of, you know, show everyone what she's really capable of. Nia Wilson, meanwhile, showing plenty as she will head to the line after the foul. There's a timeout on the floor, 51-37 New Mexico with the advantage here on Nevada Sportsnet. We've been in the biggest little city since its very beginning. We brought clean water to our city's first buildings and homes, when that wasn't easy to do. As our city has grown, we've grown with it. Since 1893, we've been trusted to do the right things the right way. Whether it's delivering innovative ideas for the buildings, shaping our future, or making sure your leaky faucet leaks no more. That's the savage way. 
and it has been for over 130 years. Hi, I'm Pedro Stojakovic. I'm Andre. He got his size from me, his jump shots from me, and his feet also from me. Wow, thanks. To take care of those feet, I got him the Good Feet 3-Step Arch Support System. Good Feet Arch Supports are designed to help relieve foot-related pain by putting the foot into a more ideal pain-relieving position. These feel great. Everybody needs good feet, even my son. Road trip. From the hip. Roll with it. Change your POV. Drive a UTV. Tell reality, BRB. Let your engines roll. Try a new pour. You never know what's in store. See some OMG. Maybe, Maybe an ET. E <laughs> or the world's oldest tree. Travel Nevada. Get a little out there. Back here in Reno, 51-37 New Mexico leading Nevada on the road in this Mountain West opener for both programs. We were talking up Lexi Gibbons before the break. Ashley Jones, seven points, five rebounds in this ball game. One of those rebounds putting her at 500 for her career. So a milestone reached in the first half for Lexi Gibbons. Half a thousand boards to her name. That's pretty good stuff. That's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty tough to do, so congratulations to her on that. Coming off a 10.10 .10 rebound effort with also three blocks in that December 21st lost, lost part of me to BYU. Wilson's first free throw, no good. Came into the game 46 of 60 from the line. One of two there. New Mexico 8 of 12 from the stripe in this ball game. Nevada 4 of 6, both 67%. Nevada yet to lead in this ball game and has work to do if it wants to. As we see Audrey Roden with the ball now. Wilson working on here. Jufre, that's an open look for three. Not going to go, though. And then hit out of bounds to the Lobos. That would have been a big shot for Nevada. And Jufre knew it. And although that resulted in a missed basket, that's a good offensive set for them. Roden breaks down the defense, is able to get into the paint, kick out for the, the top of the key three-point shot. Like That's a good look for them. Anywhere is a good look for Cumber, we have learned, but that one is no good. Roden going the other way. Reus got her hand on it, though, and a great defensive play there by UNM is now it'll be jump ball call. Felt a little premature there, but it'll stay with Nevada. As we saw Roden with a one-on-three trying to dribble into that defense, maybe wanted to back that out. All right, so we'll reset. Reus, I think, is going to get us some quick attention, maybe a little blood. Sullivan will check back in for Borden. Tell you what, Izzy Sullivan has really been a bright spot in this game for Nevada. You've got to think they're going to try to find more opportunities for her to shoot the rock. Yeah, they can get her to, to knock down a couple threes, run a couple sets for her to, you know, maybe hit a screen and roll, pop three action, corner three, something like that to kind of get her going again. That'd be big for them. Laura Langerman has checked in for UNM, as has Paris Lauro. Kennedy Lee in for Nevada. She'll set the screen for Borden, who's going to have to shoot it. Three seconds down to Lee. Step through, lefty hook, no good. And here comes Wilson the other way. Tough pass to Cumber, who managed to come down with it. She's under the rim now, gives it up. The swing pass to Wilson, who puts it on the deck and turns it over. Sullivan the other way. She nearly carried it. Now Davis has it. Back to Sullivan, wing three. Rolls in. That lefty stroke. 13 Something points. Nasty. It's a confident lefty <laughs> stroke, too. Not much uh, time needed for her to get that shot off. And Nevada is within a dozen. 90 seconds approaching here left in the third. 
a big 90 seconds for Nevada. Ray was trying to answer, and she does. And throws up the three in celebration. And the lead is back to 15. What a big shot. That's a nasty stroke right there, too. I mean, it's so smooth. Woo. 15 points for Reus. Wilson's got 15 as well as Sullivan finds a seam. That's just a freshman. Nevada might have something here. In the lefty out of Sammamish, Washington. Back to a 13-point game. Cumber in and out. 45 seconds to go. Nevada trying to finish things on a run. Davis has it with Wilson in front of her. Davis with the left. That is a tough shot. Not going to go. Seven-second difference. UNM going to push it, though, and Wilson's lefty shot is not in, but she's fouled. The call goes on Borden. It'll be the second team foul for Nevada. But it'll send Wilson to the line for two. You're seeing Nevada start to talk a little more amongst each other. It just felt like there wasn't much connectedness for the first half of this ball game, but you can see the energy starting to pick up on that. And that's the Achilles heel because, again, so many spurts of how good they can be, but it's just can we can you do it for four quarters? Can you do it consistently and not have those lapses without throughout the game? Wilson goes one for two. She's up to 16 points in this game to lead the Lobos. Virtually no difference, game clock, shot clock. Less than a second. Borden has it with under 10. They're looking for Sullivan. She'll give it up to Kennedy Lee. That would have been a big one for Nevada had it went. Instead, it does it, and then a foul committed. Something like 80-plus feet away from the basket. Not in the bonus, so with .9, UNM will take it out. Ogman checks back in for Wilson. That's a tough break right there for Tori Davis. That's four fouls, and she's been one of the best defenders on the floor today here against New Mexico. She's going to have to sit for a little bit and then play the rest of this game without getting another foul. Ogman dribbles it out, and yeah, that is a tough time to take a fourth foul if you are Tori Davis as the third quarter comes to a close. 56-42 New Mexico trying to lead wire to wire in its Mountain West opener. Does Nevada have a fourth quarter running up? We're about to find out on Nevada Sportsnet. International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 401 is looking for people, and we want you. Here's your chance to receive industry-leading training and earn as you learn. Northern Nevada electrical contractors are hiring now to keep up with energy demands in Northern Nevada. IBEW is dedicated to providing better working conditions, higher wages, and full benefits. Ready to get started? Visit PowerMyFuture.net to make your career dreams a reality. Some people say personal injury claims are all about the money. Guess what? It is about the money. The money needed by our clients to get their lives back together. Go lightly in Vanna, 222-3333. Get Signature Super All-Wheel Control, an award-winning safety features. Drive off in a new Outlander or check out the all-new 2023 Outlander PHEV today. Visit your local Mitsubishi dealer for this and other offers while they last. Are you ready to upgrade your home? Look no further than Envision Glass, your full-service glass experts. Our team of expert professionals offer a wide range of solutions, from residential repairs to full installations to fit your budget with free in-home estimates. With Envision Glass, you can expect on-time arrivals, the highest quality materials, and exceptional workmanship. And installations are backed by our five-year warranty. Trust the full-service glass experts. Choose Envision Glass for all your glass repair and upgrade needs. Visit EnvisionGlass.com. 
10 minutes to go here in Reno. New Mexico leading Nevada 56-42 in what has really been a dominant showing from the Lobos. Although credit the Wolfpack, Ashley Jones. Nevada winning that third quarter 19-16. And so it was by far the Wolfpack's best quarter of this game. But that deficit was already pretty big and it needed to be a little bit of a bigger quarter to get back into this one. And that's the, the true test of a great team is can they be consistent night in and night out. And I think that's something that Nevada is still working on, trying to find who their leaders are. Can they do this night in and night out? And I, I think that's going to come with time. The Mountain West is going to test them. And this is a team that's tough, and, and they certainly can, can do that. And so we'll see what they have here in this fourth quarter for, for New Mexico. Said it a lot in this broadcast, Nevada wondering who it can count on. Going to need a lot from Rodin as Audrey misses her first two attempts of the fourth. And here come the Lobos the other way. Nevada will next hit the road and visit Boise State on the 3rd of January. And wide open is Augman on the cut and the layup. I believe Augman has missed a shot in this game. Rodin shot, no good. And after that New Mexico play, you see Tori Davis walking right back up to the scorer's table. They need their, their defender on the floor right now. Hogman, who's going to fire from three. Right as I was about to say, she hadn't missed a shot. She was <laughs> six of six before that attempt. Six of seven, still certainly something to be proud of. 13 points for her. One of three Lobos with at least 13 points. So you mentioned it. Maxie's out, Roden's out, in is Davis, in is Izzy Sullivan. And if Nevada's going to go, they got to go now. 58-42, the Lobos lead. Sullivan. Gets the foul, the foul called on Ogman, who was trying to draw an offensive foul there. Now here's Davis with it. Off the glass and good for Tori Davis. Her second bucket of the game. Pardon me, third. She's got six points as well as three rebounds. Lauro shot blocked by Gibbons. Davis had her hands on it and then is fouled. The foul will go on Cole and it'll head the other way with Nevada. Down 14 with the ball. The length of Lexi Gibbons on display there as Paris Lauro thought she could sneak a shot in front of her. Paris 6-1 herself out of Dallas. Reus is back in there for the Lobos. As Sullivan had a seam. She'll drive instead and finish. Oh. Sullivan is six of seven in this game. Pardon me, Ashley. No, I mean, I, that just her game, like she has such a nice shot, but she's not just a shooter. She can score in other ways, and that's what makes her such a great player. And she's only a freshman. Reus, check the handle. Oh, but then loses it. Gibbons credit on the defense. And here comes the Wolfpack the other way, now trailing by a dozen. Can bet the Lobos are going to keep an eye on where Izzy Sullivan is for the rest of this game. Lather pass at top of the key. Now Sullivan has a look for three. The collective gasp inside Lawler Event Center. That one would have had folks going a little crazy. Now Reus will try to respond. No good, out of bounds, back to Nevada. Izzy Sullivan was the number one ranked shooting guard in the state of Washington. Big get for Amanda Levitt's program out of East, East Side Catholic, pardon me. We mentioned a couple weeks ago the Mountain West Freshman of the Week after she had dropped 20 points in the win over Stanislaus State. She hit six threes in that game. First pack player to have six threes in a game since 2018. That's a big shot. Borden's three is strong, though, and Cole ends up with the rebound. 
Charlotte Cole has had a couple of 20 rebound games already this year. First time that's been done by a Lobo player since 1978. Oh, that pass is a little too high for Reus. Ends up with the Wolfpack. Six and a half to go. Here comes Davis. Gibbons looking down for Lathrop, who's got Cole on her. That's a tough matchup, and Cole swats it out of bounds. Can do a lot when you're 6'5 and can move pretty well. <laughs> First block of the game for Cole, though. Sullivan, that's a good look. Left it a little short. A couple chances to make it a single-digit game. Nevada can't quite get there. And now numbers for New Mexico. Ogman will drive, kick out. Reus thought about it, kicks it back out. And now Wilson will stay patient as Coach Bradbury calls out the play. Mature possession here from the Lobos. Ogman just puts her head down. Just tries to shoot it over Sullivan. That's a tough look. And great defense by the freshman there. Here comes Davis. Lathrop didn't even want to touch that long three-pointer as the Lobos were trying to bait her into it. Instead, she'll get it in the post. Can she make a move on Cole this time? No. Oh, the foul called, as it would appear, at least for a split second there, that it was another defensive stop. Instead... Cole commits the foul, and Lathrop will go to the line. That's just a great recognition. I love that there because she's on the three-point line wide open, but she knows herself and she knows her game. That's not really a shot that's in her arsenal right now, so she goes down, posts up, and is able to draw a foul. And for her also to have been blocked on the previous play by Cole and to go right back at her again, another sign of her confidence as a player. Can't get the roll on the first free throw, though. Natalie Lathrop had a season-ending knee injury last year. It was a knee, a recovery that was still ongoing at the start of this year. 0 for 2 at the line. It's hit out of bounds to the Lobos. So a couple big misses there as now Lathrop will take a seat. Jacobs back in the game. Jacobs with four points on two of five shooting in this one. Roden with eight points on four of 11. Nevada's going to need more from those two if it wants to string together some wins in the Mountain West Conference this year. Reus walked with it. You could see there was an initial pass she was looking for that wasn't there. And that led to the dragging of the feet. So ball back to Nevada. This has been a 58-46 ball game for quite a while now. Nevada's had a chance to cut into this deficit even more, but really hasn't taken advantage of it. Davis to the rim, no good. Jacobs on the rebound. Big three for Gibbons. Short. Rebound to Wilson. Jacobs has to pick herself, pick herself up off the floor. How about the pass? Wilson to Laro. And a strong transition possession there for the visitors. Back up 14. Davis took a shot just inside the three-point line, but first a UNM defender took a shot, and the offensive foul sends it the other way. We have reached a media timeout past the halfway point of this fourth quarter. Lobos looking to go 1-0 in the Mountain West, 60-46, to leading Nevada on NSN. Hey, Pack fans, Renown Health is hiring people like you. There are clinical, non clinical, and entry level roles. Training and advancement opportunities, and terrific benefits and compensation. So make your move. Apply today at renown.org slash careers. If you've ever thought about trying Dollar Loan Center, now is the time. And for new customers, your first loan is on us. 
no application fee, no prepayment penalty, and on top of that, we're throwing in free interest for a full week. You don't need a checking account or great credit. We process loans up to $5,000 in around 30 minutes. We have instant funding and cost about half of the competition. Get yourself plugged into the DLC this year. You'll dig it. It's Champion's 35th Annual Holiday Festival Sales Event. Nevada's biggest pre-owned sale is going on now with great deals on over $8 million of used vehicles. Like a 2019 Buick Enclave, $479 a month. A 2021 Chevy Trailblazer LS, $327 a month. A 2022 Chevy Colorado LT, $597 a month. Or a 2021 Chevy Tahoe, $49,984. Plus, pull an envelope from our $12,000 Christmas tree of cash. Tis the season to save only a champion. 437 left in this fourth quarter. Nevada, New Mexico from Lawler Event Center. Mike Stephenson here alongside Ashley Jones. 60 points on the board for the visitors. Ashley, 40 of those have come in the paint. Got to imagine Coach Bradbury with UNM, who did tell us in the pregame, I never look forward to coming to Reno because of how hard it is to leave with a win. Got to think he's feeling pretty good about the effort of his team thus far. Yeah, I'm sure he, he's very pleased, but just knowing Coach a little bit, I think he's also probably going to talk about that third quarter. Uh, there was a little bit of lapse there from the Lobos, and so I'm sure he's going to, you know, let his team know. You, you always want to learn on the winning side, but things that they'll probably want to fix up as well. Paula Reus has it, gives it up to Paris Lauro. And now Cumber. A two-time Gatorade Player of the Year in New Mexico. Foul will be called off the ball. It'll go against Gabby Jeffrey. Vianne Cumber. 15 starts last season. She is a junior out of Albuquerque. She hit eight threes in a game against Montana State this year. Seventh time in the program's history a player has hit eight threes in a game. Speaking of, Laro's three, no good. Gibbons looks up ahead to Jeffrey. She'll back it out. 14-point game, four minutes to play. Jeffrey fakes it, gets a step on Laro, stops, pops, glass, good. Back to a 12-point game. Nevada has yet to get it within single digits here in this second half. Really a game played on the Lobos' terms from the opening tip. New Mexico started things on a 10-2 run and really has not looked back since. Tough pass there brought in by Lara. Someone's going to have to shoot it. Reus will step back for three. Short. So it'll be a shot clock violation. Nevada with 3.13 to go. It's got to be dang near perfect from here on out if it wants to potentially get a win or force overtime. Yeah, and two really good stops there for Nevada, able to level off the defender and not let them get downhill on their drive to the basket. Jafray's three. Not going to go. And here comes Ogman the other way. These two, as Ogman, boy, like a blur, she draws the foul coast to coast right to the rim. Not exactly optimal defense if you're the Wolfpack. She's gone. Like, you <laughs> blink your eyes. Gave me a little whiplash the <laughs> on the broadcast here. These two teams had one common opponent in the non-conference. November 9th, New Mexico was at Pepperdine. 57-48, the Lobos left Malibu with a win. Eight days later, Pepperdine was here in Reno. That was a dominant victory by the Wolfpack, 64 to 41. You look at these two teams on paper. Supposed to be a pretty good game. As Nevada still within 12 after the miss by Ogman. But really UNM has come in and inserted their will on this ball game. Nevada certainly still looking to get back to 100% health. But certainly no excuses. Davis with a big three. How about Borden on the putback? She'll be fouled. 
and look out below on the ground as she'll head to the line. That is a strong effort by Nevada's guard off the bench out of Oklahoma. I mean, she kind of just skied in there, tried to tip that back in. That's the best way to do it sometimes. Don't even bring it down. Just <laughs> tip it right back in before, you know, you got 6'5 running at you. Really great timing by Kaylee Borden, who they call Kiki. Three-sport athlete in high school, as well as basketball, cross-country, and track and field. Won a state championship also out of Anadarko, Oklahoma. Makes it a 12-point game. She's averaging 5.6 points per game, just under 67% from the free throw line coming into this one. First two points of the game there for Borden as it's now an 11-point contest, and we're seeing some pressure put on by the pack. And now Maxie will chase Ogman around. Easier said than done. And now Wilson over to Rayu swings it to Cumber. This is a Lobos team that has four players averaging double digits in scoring. As Cumber now has Roden all over her, the corner three is going to be way short. Here comes Davis. Pack down 11. She'll stop and pop. Not going to go. Wilson tracks it down, gives it up for Ogman. Two minutes to play. New Mexico has had five different leading scorers this season. Cumber wants another in the corner. Instead, she'll let Roden run right by her, and they'll milk some more clock. So ultimately, a stronger second half by far than the first half for Nevada. But a little spurt here will be a little too, little too late. As Wilson, speaking of late heroics, the bucket plus the foul. What a big game for Anya Wilson. Pardon me, Naya Wilson. Give her 18 points on six of nine shooting. Also eight rebounds in this game and three assists. She has a plus 19, Naya Wilson. Remember the name. This is a great job getting downhill and then creating the contact and then being able to finish with that contact. She's one of those players that's going to put her body into you as she goes up to shoot. And so that, that's really hard to guard as a defender. But if you're the defender in that moment, you just got to pull back, hands back, body back, and just back away from her so you don't let her create that contact. Super smart, savvy guard Wilson is. Now with 19 points, 7 of 10 from the line. Career high is 22 as Roden stops and pops, leaves it short, though. And that is a shot that she is almost automatic from. So now with 80 seconds left in this game, the defense on Rayus gets the ball back. Jacobs lays it in for Nevada. Rayus frustrated, wanted a foul. Instead, Amanda Levins will call timeout. Buck 13 to go. Packed with a bit of a run, but still down a dozen. Coach Bradbury now having some words with the official. It's UNM was definitely thinking a foul there on Reyus. It will end up nowhere. Instead, it's a timeout. 1.13 to go here on NSN. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Welcome to Toyota Thon. Hi, I want a new Toyota for a weekend getaway. You know, recharge from the holidays. Perfect. We've got new vehicles arriving daily. Excuse me. I have got a truckload of new Toyotas out a front. Truckload of new Toyotas? Yes. Wait, come on, man. I want one. I want one. Something I said? Yes. Right now, get 3.99% APR financing for up to 48 months on a new 2023 Toyota Tacoma. Or lease a new Toyota Tundra for just $449 per month. Toyota Thon ends January 2nd. Toyota, let's go places. Meet Sandy. After a serious car accident, she needed the best partner she could get. Lawyers who know Northern Nevada inside and out, not ones phoning it in from Las Vegas. And that's what she found at Bradley, Drenel & Janae, Northern Nevada's original personal injury law firm. She got the compensation she needed to get better 
and she was also able to get peace of mind. It's what we've done for thousands of clients since 1957, and it's what we'll do for you. Bradley, Drendel, Janae, and you. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Back here inside Lawler Event Center. 73 seconds left on the clock. Nevada trailing New Mexico 64-52. Lobos appear to be on their way to a 1-0 start in Mountain West Conference action. New Mexico will next face Boise State a week from today. So next week, both Nevada and New Mexico will play Boise State. Pack on the road Wednesday. New Mexico at home Saturday as Reus draws the foul. Coach Levins didn't agree with the call, but it'll send her to the line. So Paula Reus out of Spain with a chance to really put this one on ice for the Lobos. She's got 15 points, five rebounds in this game. Career high of 25 came on the 28th of November against Eastern Illinois. Last year averaged eight points and four rebounds. She's above that this year with 12 points and six rebounds a game. Just under 74% from the line as well. Played for the under 16 Spanish team, which took third at the FIBA 2019 European Championships. She's played a lot of high level basketball as Paula Reus now up to 17 points in this game. Six of 11 shooting. Here's Jacobs with a head of steam. Leaves it short, though, and Reus has another rebound. Looked a little too far ahead for Ogman, though, and it's a turnover. So now 17 and six rebounds for Reus. And with under a minute to play, Nevada has it back down 14. Pack trailed by 17 at the half. Just really never found a rhythm in this one as Jacobs has it on a putback. Not going to go. Gibbons will get another opportunity. She'll spin into Reus and give it up. Nice pass for Jacobs. And another quick timeout called by Amanda Levins. It's back to a 12-point game. Nevada not able to get this thing to single digits as we'll stick around. Gibbons on the day, one for eight. Jufre, one for six. Kennedy Lee, one for five. Just a shooting day. Uh, that the Wolfpack certainly will not want to look back on or replicate, that's for sure. Yeah, and those are, those are tough to, when you know there's shots you can make and they're just not falling. That's when you got to get in the gym, get a little extra in, get some shots up before the game, stay after practice, and kind of try to figure out what it is and why they're not making these shots. Been two weeks since Nevada has played in this gym. It'll certainly be going back to the drawing board as it hits the road to take on a Boise State team expected to compete for a Mountain West championship. As now Wilson has it for the Lobos. She'll give it up to Reus. And that's 10 seconds. And the 10 seconds goes off as Coach Levins was the first to call it. The referee just slightly behind her. And the ball is turned over to the Wolfpack. I know it takes a lot to, to be a pressing team throughout a game, but when we have seen Nevada press other teams, they've been successful, and I think it's something that they could, you know, use to their advantage throughout the game here and there, not necessarily the whole 40 minutes, but, you know, here and there, throwing a couple of plays, throw the defense off kilter, and, uh, you know, try to try to make something shake a little bit with that. How about the home roll from Izzy Sullivan? As the three falls, it's back to a single-digit game for the first time in a long time, but also just 29 seconds on the clock. So Sullivan now up to 20 points, matching her career high, as well as three rebounds. She's 8 of 11 from the field, and by far the most efficient player in this game for Nevada, Izzy Sullivan. 
If there's any bright spot in this game, it has been the freshman off the bench. And she's been able to score in more than one way. She's obviously knocked down the three-point shot. She's gotten to the basket. She had a little couple mid-range jumpers. I mean, she's done it all offensively for Nevada today. And if they could get one or two more players to kind of come along with her and, and have that boost, they could be a, a really vicious team. That's the thing, though. The Wolfpack trying to find out who will be there night in and night out, putting up numbers for Nevada because it's been wildly inconsistent through the first dozen plus games of this season. Nevada six and seven overall started five and two, sputtering a bit in the Mountain West Conference play. Maybe a little something to catapult them into that uh, that game this week at Boise State, though, Ashley, is this second half, more specifically the back half of this fourth quarter. Well, unfortunately, the road does not get easier when you when you look to have a, a Boise State team on the road at that. That's never an easy place to play. And so those pieces are going to have to come together and fall in place really fast. Nevada's going to have to watch film regroup, um, you know, and if they're not able to turn this around in this last 28 seconds, they're going to have to take this and, and put it to the side and, and learn from those mistakes, though, because they have the pieces. We've seen it. They're right there. They just got to put them in the right spot. The way they're playing right now in this moment and in that third quarter, this is what they need the full 40 minutes, not, you know, I'm just going to chill, relax, yeah. kind of slowly edge into the game. Now you got to come out firing on all cylinders. Well, again, the Lobos came out and took a quick 10-2 to two lead, so it was an eight-point game minutes in and it's really stayed in that 8 to 18 range the entire game and so I guess on paper you could say Nevada has played them pretty evenly after that sluggish opening start but that sluggish opening start was everything in this ball game in the, uh, New Mexico has really just ran with it as Gibbons will now foul out she ends up with eight uh, pardon me seven points eight rebounds just one of eight shooting, though, in 34 minutes played. Also a pair of blocks, three assists. So a little bit of everything for Lexi Givens, but definitely more to be desired in the scoring department of this one as Wilson makes the first of two free throws. And for, for any player, that's a solid stat line, right? Like eight rebounds, three assists, seven points. I mean, that's a, that's a good stat line, but because I know what she's capable of. The fans, the coaching staff, everyone knows what she's capable of. Everybody just wants a little bit more from her because yeah. we know that she can do that. She's capable of doing that. That's sort of a mundane game for Lexi Gibbons. Let's call it what it is because she is easily capable of 15 points, 10 rebounds on a night in and night out basis, and it's something we have seen from her. So you see Wilson make both free throws. She's now up to, pardon me, she just sunk the first. One more to go. If she does hit it, she will be up to 22 points, which would tie her career high. 68-57, the spread as New Mexico will look to win a seventh Mountain West opener in eight seasons under Mike Bradbury. It would be a fourth Mountain West Conference opening win in a row for New Mexico. Stick with me. Three straight years, New Mexico has won its first Mountain West game, looking to make it four in a row and in good shape to do that here today in Reno as the Lobos will next again head home and have a week to prepare for Boise State, a team they'll be watching on film after the Broncos take on Nevada coming up on Wednesday in Idaho. Jafrail inbounded in front of Nevada's bench. Trying to look cross court for Roden, who somehow is able to get possession. The bank shot no good, though. She had Cole right in front of her, which even just her sight at 6-5 proves to be a decoy on defense. Then the foul committed by Roden will send Cole to the free throw line. Yet to score in this one. Charlotte Cole, averaging nine points a game as well as eight rebounds. Those are her first points of this one. She's got six total rebounds in this game. 
Second one no good though, 20, 20 seconds to play. Davis with the deep three, not gonna get it. Put back is up and in by Sullivan, who now has a new career high with 22. But it'll be in a losing effort, 10 point game. Reus just gives it up past the half court line. Ogman recovers it. It'll be a jump ball as Davis was there on the way down to grab the rock. 3.7 to go, New Mexico can dribble it out here and leave Reno with a double digit victory. Wilson winds it down. Fittingly, it ends up in the hands of our Pavers by Porter player of the game, Northern Nevada's premier Hardscape contractor, family owned and operated since 07. Give it up for our Pavers by Porter player of the game. It is Naya Wilson. All right, Ashley Jones, 69-59, your final. New Mexico takes down Nevada as the Lobos open up Mountain West play with a win. Wolfpack starts with a loss, a third straight loss for Nevada. Any final thoughts before we say good afternoon to our viewers? Love the fight from the Nevada team here at the end of the game. Um, it, it's a good, you never want to learn on the losing side, but at least you're taking that into the next game. They, they show fight here at the end, but it just came a little bit too late. So you got to chuck this one and get ready. It's conference time. You got another game right around the corner. So watch film, learn from this, and hopefully they can take this energy that they had in the third and fourth quarter into their next game. Got to have a short memory as the team meets on the court together. Plenty of work to still be done for Amanda Levin's squad, which did have a stronger second half than the first, but it was that first quarter that pretty much doomed the pack. 69-59, the final score here in Reno. First of two games on Nevada Sportsnet today. Nevada's men will have to wait till the new year to dip into Mountain West Conference play. The PAC's guys finishing non-conference play tonight at 7 o'clock with Fresno Pacific in town. We'll have that one live right here on Nevada Sports. In the meantime, for Ashley Jones, I'm Mike Stephenson. Shout out to our entire crew behind the camera and in the control room. You've been watching Mountain West Women's Hoops on Nevada Sports Net. New Mexico leaves Reno with a 69-59 win. We'll see you back here tonight for Nevada's guys taking on Fresno Pacific. The game of football is about pain. Seven years old until I stopped playing at 31. I thought that um, foot pain was going to be with me for the rest of my life. I'm so glad I met good feet. I'm so glad that um, those arch supports are in my shoes. If I had known about the good feet arch support earlier, I would have more than one championship. I would have two championship rings. Try them for yourself with a free arch support fitting and test walk at the Good Feet store. It's Champions 35th Annual Holiday Festival Sales Event. Nevada's biggest pre-owned sale is going on now with great deals on over $8 million of used vehicles. Like a 2012 Ford Focus, $149 a month. A 2021 Chevy Bolt EV LT, $327 a month. A 2021 Subaru Crosstrek, $479 a month. Or a 2018 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ, $49,984. Plus, 